You're watching My Louisa in the Kitchen. I'm Empress Naima, and today's recipe is smothered chicken. Please subscribe so you can get a new recipe every week. So you want to start off with some marinated chicken pieces. This is three pounds of marinated chicken thighs. It was marinated in my Creole seasoning, which you can find on my website. And you want to do this in a pan on medium heat for about 15 minutes until it's nice and golden brown and crispy. You don't want to move it around or anything so you can get that nice crispy skin. And you want to render all the fat from off of the skin because that's going to be the base of the gravy. So turn it over and then let it cook for about another five to seven minutes on the other side. And then after it cooks, then you want to make sure it's golden brown on the other side. Remove it from the pan and place it in the dish over to the side. Okay, so now you're going to add your aromatic base or the mirepoix. So this is one onion, half of a red bell pepper, half of a green bell pepper, and two stalks of celery that have been chopped. And I also have roughly chopped mushrooms. This is about a pound. And you're going to stir them into the fat. You don't have to worry about deglazing the pan because the moisture from the vegetables is going to do that. So you want to stir it and make sure that the vegetables are fully coated in the chicken fat. And make sure it's evenly coated spread out in the pan and then cover it and let it cook for about 10 minutes and then come back and stir it and you see how the liquid came and it loosened up all that seasoning on the bottom of the pan and now you're going to add some creole seasoning to it this is about, I guess, a tablespoon. And if you don't have Creole seasoning, you can add salt, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, paprika, and some thyme. And you're going to stir it. Make sure that seasoning is distributed evenly. And then cover it. Let it cook some more and then come back and stir it and you want the vegetables to cook down some. So these vegetables are going to cook for a total of about 20 to 25 minutes. And now you're going to add one can of cream of mushroom soup. And I think it's 10 and a half ounce can. So add that to the pot. And then you're going to add water to the can and stir it to get any that might be stuck on the side and then pour that into the pot. And then you're going to stir it and incorporate it in. And if it doesn't fully break down that's okay because the heat is going to melt the cream of mushrooms soup into a nice thick gravy consistency but stir it and incorporate as much of it as you can into the vegetable and as you can see it's already starting to thicken up So 
Now you want to add the chicken back to the pot. And you don't have to worry about adding any more liquid because this chicken isn't fully cooked. So the liquid is going to come from the chicken pieces. If there's any drippings left in the container that was holding the chicken, throw that in there. It just gives it more flavor. Now you want to stir the chicken. you're going to cover it and put the heat on medium low and let it cook for about 45 minutes to an hour and you're going to stir it about every 15 minutes just to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and as you can see the more you cook it the deeper in color the gravy becomes And that's it. You're going to serve this with rice or potatoes and some vegetables. And I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching.